Hi, I'm Genoa. And I'm Mo. Today we're having the sex talk. The sex talk. sex talk. So I had a question um, that popped up on one of my articles or my email or something. Uh, the question was, I use meth and when I use meth I have developed a fetish. I think the fetish might have been dressing up in female clothes or something like that. And so I really wanted to do an episode on meth use mm -hmm. and how it correlates to our fantasies and our fetishes and, and, what and our sexuality and yeah. our sex life and, and our sexual practices. Yeah, and what, what might happen when you use meth. So, one of the things that happens when people use meth sometimes is they make different choices than they normally would. They make more unsafe choices, they don't use protection, they, um, they do unsafe sexual practices. This is very common because you're really fucking high and it's a particular kind of drug that can make you really, really horny and high at the same time. Yeah, so it, it um, decreases inhibition. Mm -hmm. So it makes you super uninhibited. Woo. It increases arousal. So it makes you like, you're like really excited and really excitable and, and you're uninhibited. So you're like ready to do everything. It has a tendency to bring out things that might be sort of like under the surface a little bit. You know, maybe you suppressed. have this little suppressed fantasy of, you know, watching transgendered, you know, individuals, you know, having sex or something or some sort of fetish that is kind of untapped. Um, it can definitely bring that to the surface. And as Jenna was saying, it can also make you apt to try like things that you would never ever consider trying mm -hmm. sober. Yeah, and you might not make choices that are safe in that moment. You might be not using protection. You might have multiple partners with no protection. Like so many different things that you might do that you wouldn't have done if you weren't high on meth. Right. Right. It really, really makes you feel like you're invincible. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes you feel like you can try anything. And then a lot of times what happens to people is when they come down or when they come off the meth, they have severe regret. Mm -hmm. um, they associate that fetish now with the meth use. Right. And so what you see a lot of times is people completely getting clean off of the substance that they were using, and in this case we're talking about methamphetamines, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they're also become getting clean off of their sexuality, and so they have no sexuality left to speak of, because right. they associate so much of what they were doing sexually with that meth use. Mm -hmm. um, so, so they start from scratch. They really have to start from scratch, and they have to, they have to peel apart what was, you know... What's the drug, and yeah. what's me? Yeah. Um, let's say you've done some some things that you consider to be morally wrong while you're using meth. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, involving um, beings that can't give consent, mm -hmm. such as children mm -hmm. or animals, and mm -hmm. you've done something like that. Yeah. Anything where you kept something hidden, and now it's like, well, you feel bad about your sexuality as a mm -hmm. whole. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're in a relationship, we always go back to relationships because, you know, they're part of our life. Um, and you're trying to get clean, obviously we commend you for that, that's great. Um, but your, your partner might be wondering why, where is my partner's sexuality and where is our relationship sexuality on in all this. So coming clean to mm -hmm. your partner can be scary, but can really, really help. If you have a supportive partner that's helping you through sobriety, involve them in your sexual recovery as well. Yeah. So that's kind of it in a nutshell, methamphetamine use. While it might seem exciting and it might like, oh my god, it decreases all my inhibitions and I can go out there and be this person mm -hmm. that I normally can't be and I can yeah. be sexual, um, it can also have pretty detrimental side effects. So I guess the moral of the story is don't do math. We don't judge here at the sex <laughs> talk. We love you no matter what. <laughs> sex talk. Sex talk. Sex talk.